That vegan teacher is back on TikTok again. And this time she's using Dream's name for clout. Not only that, but she's harassing him and breaking way too many boundaries doing it. Now, I'm sure most of you have been following that vegan teacher's story over the last few months. But for those of you who haven't, she's basically a 56 year old Canadian teacher that's turned into a viral meme for pushing veganism onto the rest of the world way too strongly. She's mocked the Me Too movement by comparing people's Me Too struggles with the struggles faced by vegans. She's mocked the LGBT community by saying that coming out as vegan is more special than coming out as LGBT. And she's even been criticized for feeding her dog a vegan diet, which is really bad for them. Well, over the past few months, she's been roasted by the Minecraft community for harassing Tommy in it repeatedly on her TikTok account, which ended up getting banned after she posted this TikTok sexualizing Tommy, who's only 16 years old. Hello TikTok, I got two more golden play buttons today that I'm going to show to girls when they, if they come round. Because they, because they do. Tommy, the nice vegan girls don't want to see your buttons, but if you want them to play with your buttons, you're going to have to show them your fruits and your vegetables. It's such a gross thing to say to a minor, isn't it? She's also got into drama with other people from the Dream SMP community, like George Not Found, after he posted this TikTok in response to her saying, McDonald's is bad for you. People will be like, eating too much McDonald's is bad for you. You know what else is bad for you? Being a little bitch. What are you, sponsored by salad? There's actually been so much more drama than that that I could have spoken about for ages, but that's a nice little summary of it. So since getting banned, she's tried to come back to TikTok several times. One time coming back as that Holocaust teacher, which was so offensive because she was doing it for shock factor rather than actually trying to educate anyone. Well, her latest comeback is on a TikTok account called Questioning Our Thoughts, and she's been using Dream's brand to promote herself and cause controversy in the Minecraft community for clout. Her first few TikToks are all her using the dream sticker alongside standard vegan messages like I dream of a world where there's no more cruelty to animals and eating animals is weird. For some reason, despite having been harassing the Minecraft community for several months, she posted a TikTok pretending not to know who Dream is and pretending not to recognize his logo on the sticker. I've been using this cute sticker, but I'd like some information about it. Can somebody please tell me, is this based on a cartoon character from a Disney movie? Who drew it? Is it based on a real life person? Or like, what's the history? She knows exactly what she's doing and it's so obvious. She's been replying to comments, pretending to slowly figure out that it's from a Minecraft content creator and even use that as a chance to go back to preaching her Minecraft is violent propaganda. Wait, so you're saying that Minecraft isn't violent? I'm really confused now. I thought they have guns and they're blasting things there. Isn't that the one where they kill animals? Like, if that's not it, then which one is the one that they kill animals? One of Dream's fans was sticking up for him and calling her out for being a hypocrite and a liar, and she responded saying this. Hi, spontaneous weirdness. We meet again. You seem to be fascinated with me. Do you know how many millions of people there are on this app? Why are you stalking me? Doesn't it seem weird to you? How is she making out as though she's a victim of stalking when she's the one stalking people like Dream and Tommy? Also, as well as using Dream's brand for views, she's also taking it way too far and actually harassing Dream himself. One of her TikToks shows Dream's image with text she's put over saying, I'm clay, I'm gay, and I support all who are oppressed. With both homophobia and vegan phobia are wrong written at the top of the TikTok. First of all, why does she keep pushing this vegan phobia word like it's ever going to become a thing? Vegans aren't oppressed, it's a lifestyle choice. And if you don't try and push it onto others like she does, literally no one cares if you're a vegan. It's so ignorant to try and compare veganism to the struggles faced by the LGBT community. Second of all, Dream has come out several times in the past and explicitly said that he doesn't want people talking about his sexuality, he doesn't want people speculating about it, and he doesn't want to put a label on it himself. Like he said, everyone's sexuality is their own business and no one else's. 
It's not my business to discuss in this video, and it's certainly not that vegan teacher's business to discuss in hers. To impersonate him and bring sexuality into the discussion is wrong by itself, but it's even worse to do it when he said he doesn't want people doing that and it makes him feel uncomfortable. She's also spelled Dream's name wrong in the TikTok. She's using a K rather than a C at the start of Clay, and when someone corrected her, she made it out as if she doesn't know who Clay with the C was. Oh, hey. I think you're getting me mixed up with somebody who looks like me. My name is spelt with the letter K. When are you going to stop drinking cow's milk? How about today? Okay? She's basically impersonating Dream, pretending not to know who he is, and then changing one letter in his name to try and claim that she's not impersonating him when she so clearly is. This TikTok account is fairly new, so that's all she's done up until now. Hopefully this TikTok account gets taken down soon so she doesn't get to continue harassing Dream and profiting off his brand, as well as the popularity of the Minecraft community. For now, if you can, don't go looking for it. Don't give her the views, don't give her the shares, don't give her the comments, don't give her the attention she so desperately craves. Because that's literally exactly what she wants. Part of me thinks I shouldn't have even made this video in the first place. But if there is any more drama from her until she gets banned, I'll do a follow-up video to let you guys know and keep you all updated. So feel free to subscribe down below if you enjoyed today's video and you want to catch the next one. Like the guys always say, it's free, it only takes a second, and you can always change your mind later on. Also, let me know what you guys thought of today's video and what you make of the whole situation. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on everything. Anyway, that is unfortunately all we have time for today, so thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.